But very early in the morning, Port Ogilvy, who had seen the shooting star and who was persuaded that a meteorite lay somewhere on the common between Horsell, Ottershaw and Woking, rose early with the idea of finding it. Find it he did, soon after dawn and not far from the sand pits. An enormous hole had been made by the impact of the projectile and the sand and gravel had been flung violently in every direction over the heath, forming heaps visible a mile and a half away. The heather was on fire eastward and a thin blue smoke rose against the dawn. The thing itself lay almost entirely buried in sand amidst the shattered splinters of a fir tree it had shivered to fragments in its descent. The uncovered part had the appearance of a huge cylinder caked over and its outline softened by a thick, scaly, dun-coloured incrustation. It had a diameter of about 30 yards. 30 yards? 30 yards. That's a big old cylinder. So, where are we, Tim? Welcome to Horsell Common, very near Woking. We are sitting on the edge of a sand pit, facing east. It's a big old bowl. And